Welcome back guys, J Dog here and we're back in with another tutorial. This time we're going to be going over private blog networks again and how you can eliminate any footprints using multiple IP addresses. So before we get into it, let me just explain a bit more about what a footprint is. If you're not aware of what I'm talking about, it's basically like a breadcrumb. It's like a trace um, of you that you've left yourself um, pointing to the search engines that you are one entity running this private blog network. For example, if you've got quite a few blogs and they're all registered with the same email, they have the same IPs, the same name servers, they're hosted with the same company. Search engines are just going to be able to determine very quickly that you are running a PBN and all of your sites are just pointing towards each other trying to build domain authority. This, of course, is a problem, and they then can shut your PBN down or mark it as a PBN. They've got quite clever algorithms, which will find it out um, if you haven't been careful and you've been leaving footprints behind. This will then render the domain pretty useless, and you're not going to be able to carry on sending backlinks out of it, because they're not going to hold any domain authority, they're not going to pass down any SEO juice um, and really help your money site. So for this reason, here at Seekhost, we do have unique IP blog hosting. Um, by this, I mean that each one of your IPs, for instance, this domain has a different IP than this domain. Domain. Now this is quite important. This means that um, when the search engines are trying to determine whether it's a PBM blog or not, it's not going to match up straight away with the IP addresses. So it's not going to look like one person is running this whole network. So when you're building your blog, you're thinking um, at all points, what am I leaving behind? What footprints am I leaving behind? As I mentioned earlier, is it all with the same IP or the same name servers? Um, another thing I didn't mention that we'll seek a host hosting here, you can get a PBM blog and um, they all have their unique IP and they also have a different name server. So you could have a hundred different blogs and they will all have unique IPs, unique name servers. Not only that, all the servers are hosted all around the world, which means that it's not going to be pointing to one particular place. And of course, when you do set up your domain, you do have the choice of hiding your Whois information by simply paying £3 for the entire year. Now I can't stress how essential it is that you are not leaving footprints, you are using separate IPs, you're using separate name servers, um, potentially signing up with different emails as well, just to make sure that you're not leaving anything behind. And then it's going to lead to you growing quite a successful PBN. If all your blogs are unique, not only with IPs and name servers, but also with the content that you're producing and they're producing good content, um, you're regularly posting on them. They might even get a few backlinks themselves. You're going to really start growing your private blog network to a point that it's going to grow quite profitable for you. Here at Seekerhost, with our hosting, you're going to be able to tell quite clearly which one you would like to host. If I show you the main panel now, you can see that we can either host a PBN blog or we can host a WordPress site. A WordPress site primarily is run on one IP that is shared between the whole network. With a PBN blog, you're going to get an absolutely unique IP and a different name server depending on what the domain name is. So you can run many sites here without leaving a footprint behind because they're all going to look completely unique. So those being the main footprints that you can leave behind, let's just go over some of the smaller ones as well. On all of your sites, you don't want to be using the exact same plugins. You want to change up your themes. You want to change up how your site actually looks. Because if anybody does, or it does pop up as a PBN on the algorithm, if somebody does come to check your site, you need to make sure that it looks authentic. It's actually getting some organic traffic coming to it. And it's a proper website. I mean, to be honest, if you're running it like that, um, it makes sense that you're going to be running a proper website with uh, proper blogs. But you want good relative posts pointing with good backlinks. So you want the actual site to be scoring well. There's absolutely no reason you might not add ads sense to it, get your analytics, make it an affiliate site or have some affiliate links. And by doing this, you're going to be earning some money back towards your hosting prices and of course your domain names. If you are looking to start a PBM blog, I'll leave the link in the description. You can just head down there, head on over to Seekhost, check out the packages. You can also um, create an account for free and just look at our dashboard, uh, check out how it all works. You can easily search for a domain just to see if we have got one um, that's going to suit you or one that you're looking for. Or you can of course search for an expired domain. Um, and purchase it using Seekerhost. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time on the next tutorial. Bye bye.